What about your graphics on your slides? Okay, we've talked a little bit about this, but let's reinforce it again. Slides are only one part of your presentation. With clear and interesting body language, smooth delivery, good tempo, and eye contact, the audience will already know what you are saying and be interested in it. This all means the slides are made to simply guide the audience through your presentation. I keep emphasizing this and I cannot say it enough. Your slides are not the thing you should spend your most time on. Most of your time should be spent on getting comfortable, familiar with your information, feeling positive. Look at this example of this slide. I like this slide. Why? Because it shows just very clearly, simply, this is the outline. It's white and here is green. I'd prefer it be black, would be even clearer, but there you go. It has one little line and it tells what part we're in. We're inside the index. Nice and clear. No confusion, no problem. The main information does not come from this slide. The main information comes from my talking clearly, my body language, my delivery, my tempo, my contact with the audience. These are the important parts. This is the reinforcement. Reinforcement. This just re retells it, gives me more information from another perspective. Maybe it has some graphs on it to show. Maybe it has some lines on it to show. Maybe it has some logos on it. Maybe it has some graphics on it, but nothing too complicated. The main thing is here in my presentation, not inside the slides. So here we have a couple examples again, and we've talked about this, but let me reinforce it because it's so important, right? We have a nice clear title to the slide, and we have a clear graphic to the slide. Simple, nothing complicated. Here we have the heading to our slide, and then we have the breadcrumbs here. The breadcrumbs tells us where are we? Bread crumbs. This tells us what's our position inside the presentation. How much are we finished and how much is to go? And then here we have some graphics, three graphics on here, and this is our main point. Now, this has a wood background. I don't like that too much. I prefer it to be more clear, but I know people do enjoy making different kinds of background. So, as long as it's not too distracting. Okay, a couple more examples, right? I would prefer the background. I like this one a little bit more. I like this one a little bit less, but it's not too bad, right? It's kind of a gray background. We have the title of the graph. We have the key to the graph. And then we have our bar chart very clearly. I don't like this mountain here, right? These are kind of weird. It's distracting. Don't like that too much. On the other hand, over here, we have a little logo, and I guess that's okay. Could keep a logo in your slides as long as it's not too distracting. We have a nice title and then a nice bar chart here, very clear. But I like this one better. There's a couple more. Again, very simple. We've got our title here. We have our main points here. We have a little logo, not too bad. And we have a picture here. Now, what's the picture for? The picture is maybe to reinforce something that I'm talking about. And remember, we said important information up here, less important down here. So less important. So if you're going to have some kind of graphic or picture that's not really the key point, but just reinforcing something, maybe put it down here. And then here we have our little logo, not too bad. 
We have a dark background with white words, so make it easy to read. We have the title of the graph here, and then here we have the pie chart. In the pie chart, you can see the good thing I like here is it's labeled very clearly. The percentage and the content of each of the slices of the pie are clear. Okay, so that covers the content. That is by far the biggest part of our units. It's a little bit complicated. It's not easy to do these things, but I think if you practice enough, you can get better and better at it. I really believe the best way to help your content of your presentation is to, one, Practice the information. Not practice the presentation, but practice the information. Get that information into your brain. If it's a product for your company, understand it really well. If it's a presentation about a service, understand the service. If it's a presentation about finance, understand the finance you're talking about. Don't just write it down and then go make your presentation. You won't feel comfortable. I really think that's the number one point, is feel comfortable. Number two is Practice in a mirror, or better yet, practice with a video camera, with your phone. That's even better than practicing with friends, because when you practice with friends, they're going to be friendly. They're going to say, oh, that's very good, don't worry, great. But when you see yourself, you're going to be much more critical. You're going to be able to see where you're not doing a good job. Not easy to do, but again, you got to learn how to do it by pretending that's not me, that's somebody else. How can I help that person get better? Okay, so content of your presentation, good luck, and I'm sure you're going to do a good job.